Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today I want to show you my range bag setup for my Staccato XC. So I bought this gun case from Terran Tactical Innovations. The real reason I bought it is because it's made by Savior. Savior is like literally the number one company for gun bags and they do a lot of collaboration with other companies including Staccato. I think Staccato now has a new bag that is all black and it's awesome but it's exactly the same setup as this near the Christmas time they had a huge sale so I got this real cheap and it's nice it's a velcro so you can put whatever but it has Terran Tactical there I love this logo and it's by made by Savior so you can you can trust this bag I have the X365 modified by Terran Tactical and it's top notch this is what I carry in here they have a nice pocket with a bigger pocket here and three uh, elastic pockets here my in-ear this is molded ear very very nice it's only custom to my ear it's a revision military so the U u.s army uses this i have a oakley's too but to me on my face this fits much better and it's a little bit older they have the attachment also these click very well and you can adjust the size it's a pistol pro grip an answer so you apply this little bit on your hands and it's like a liquid chalk i've seen a uh, terran butler use it during his competitions so i tried it and it's fucking awesome uh there's nothing so you can put your gun here if you want so you can carry two guns so you can put six mags but i usually carry three and my staccato xc it is empty okay. very smooth it's so light but this is patrol ready for four pounds but the slide is light shooting feeling is great but it is a lot heavier than two pound trigger my modification to this it's all authorized by my agency and department dlc reverse plug with the guide rod that's a toolless guide rod but it's black color everything's blacked out on my gun those are the titanium screws from terran tactical but these are torque screw not a hex screw so it's a lot tougher so now I'm not gonna strip it now. I know that happens and it sucks. Uh, X300 Turbo, it's very focused beam. It is uh, B type, which is all metal. So on a metal frame gun, you should get a metal uh, flashlight. If you have a plastic like Glocks, you should get the plastic one, uh, which is A. See, this has to be tapped right here in the middle so I can include that uh, extended mag release button. And the uh, RMR, uh, soon it will be replaced with a RMR HD. Terran Tactical Magwell it's a carry version so it's very minimal more minimal than the default staccato version you know i didn't uh, stipple it yet but i might take this in to get it get it stippled in the future flat uh, slide stop and take down pin right there that's straight from a uh, staccato that was included on my uh, staccato p but i replaced it on here you know you can carry up to six magazines but i usually carry it like this inside the case and in here you can carry another gun but I carry these accessories, my duty ammo. It's a hollow point, but it has a gel inside. Lens wipe for the RMR or RMR HD. And these are my little tools that I carry, but you know, I don't really use it. I do it at home with a better equipment. So today, the reason why I'm making this video is the grip tapes. So these are the side grip tapes that you can put on. I shoot like this, thumb, right thumb always on top of the safety this safety and the thumb goes right there just like that and my thumb goes here i know a lot of glock users stipple it here to create some texture so you know where the thumb goes this is very very slippery and i don't want to put my thumb on the flashlight i guess i can but i don't want to i usually make it like straight against the slide just underneath it was cut to size like this but i'll show you why I i'm not gonna use this and there's four different brands and i, I don't want to mention the brands but i'll just put the best one that i chose on the uh, description below so these four are all from amazon this was 7.99 and it comes with two and the hex pattern this one it comes with a bigger paper like that so you can cut to any size and these shape there's two very similar on the front but every single one is a little different and this just comes with two $6.99 and this one is a eight a nine eight nine you can buy one that is has a cut but reason why I don't want this is because this is just like skateboard like sandpaper 
look how shiny it is. So when I put it on, even though it's cut to size, but this is so shiny. So it didn't go with the gun. All dark, like these type of gradation and uh, stippleness, you know? This is just like more grayish, uh, very shiny. So I applied it first, but I took it off. Um, you know, maybe I'll give it to my friends if they want it. And out of these four, let's compare. I don't want any like shine to it. So these are all four companies. Not, not in particular order. Very similar shapes. It is a different materials. But out of these four, this has the most shine, more rubbery than these three. Okay, yeah, see it shines. A little bit less shiny, but it still shines. Two are very similar, but this has more shine. So this has the least shine to the shininess. So to me, this one is out. Seem like a silicone type uh, grip tape. And this is a sandpaper type. So if you like the sandpaper type, buy this on eBay, I believe. Uh, I bought this, they're all cheap, you know, so who cares? So out of these three, I mean, you can't really see it, but this has the least shine, so I'll pick this. Just a feeling, and this price is good. It comes with everything here. It even comes with a big uh, grip tape like that. So if you want, you can cut into that size using maybe guideline from here and attach it, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna apply maybe this or that, uh, something simple. I will give it to my friends. Okay, so I just have to see. See, this is too big. This is unthinkable. This one is too thick. So I'm gonna try this one out. This is sufficient. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. So it might look like this, kind of like that. And when I grip it, see perfect thumb. So I will probably put it like that. Maybe it looks a little bit high. So I'll Bring it down just a tad bit down. If you're considering, man, should I keep my Staccato P or should I upgrade to uh, Staccato XC? I say upgrade if your department or agency approves it or if this is your just fun gun, you won't regret it. This is just way more fun to shoot, more accurate. It's just better to look at because even the flashlight is flushed. It's amazing looking. So I did arts and craft. <laughs> Holy shit, it was hard. <laughs> but I made it this shape. One long one, and then I cut the square one into this shape. So then it covers the entire thumb like this. And if I go a little forward, like it still gives me the grip. And this has the best feeling. And I like it because, uh, you know, the serial number starts with XC. It's a complete flush. So this lint doesn't get dirty at all with carbon buildup. So when I had a stuck out of P, that was a huge problem. After I shoot one like 40 round, 50 round course, you can't use the flashlight. Now it's, it was hard to remove all the carbon buildup. Anyways, I strongly suggest upgrade to XC. It's, it's one of the best guns I have ever shot and I ever held. The look wise, amazing. Maybe a little better with the stippling, but this uh, grip is good enough. This Gen 3 grip is very good. I wish there was more grip here, here, and then underneath. So I might utilize the grip tape. Anyways, this is the shape that I went with and I'm happy with it, it's nice. And this grip tape is super strong, so it's not gonna peel away. And if you do, there's a lot more left here, right? And you can cut it into size if you want. Super Metal Finex Paint Pen. I bought this on Amazon. Uh, it was a little pricey, but this is a metal pen to do the uh, witness marks so you can set it there you can set it on the notches here or adjustments so you know this is zero so i zeroed it and uh, when i tested it, it it was just perfect so um, it's a and it's a bright red so they have different colors but i wanted to use a red pen to indicate so let me see so a lot of people do the a little bit of a uh, witness marks or horizontally or vertically I put a witness marks like that. So now I know if these screws are churned a little bit, then I can modify it or retighten these. With my eyes, that doesn't look that round, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like a star burst pattern. I, I cannot get a fine point, but hopefully RMR HD, my eye uh, can adjust better. Look at that. 
Thank you for viewing my video and see you on the next one.